is meteorologist Mark Molnar with a special tropical weather bulletin. Let's get right into the tropics. First area of business is in the eastern Gulf and just south of Cuba. This is where we're going to be looking at the potential for a developing tropical system over the next three to five days. It's going to start really affecting Florida with tremendous rains come this weekend and into early next week and into the southeastern part of the United States. All eyes should be on this from Miami. Tampa, Pensacola, all the way over to New Orleans. So let's keep an eye on this storm. It has the potential to become our first named tropical system of the 2018 season. So we're gonna continue to watch for it. The system is currently south of Cuba. However, it will become in a much more favorable area for development come later on into the Memorial Day weekend. Now, nevertheless, the sea surface temperatures are pretty warm here. However, there will be a lot of wind shear that it will be battling, so I don't expect this to become a hurricane or anything, to say the least, but nevertheless, it could become our first tropical system of the season, and lots of rain, a big rainmaker with this. We'll eventually have to watch this over towards the northern Gulf here, and eventually the southeastern part of the United States, and if this wants to make a run up the Appalachians for middle part of next week. We'll have to keep an eye on that because that could affect us up here into the northeastern part of the United States. So there you have it. That's what we're looking at and stay tuned because this is a potential here. This is our first major potential of the season. Let's get right into the forecast but before we do viewers send in photos and videos. Uh, John from Islip, New York. Severe thunderstorms a week ago. Last Tuesday across the area dark clouds. He had severe thunderstorms and some tornado warnings across the area. So very nice photos to send in here and take a look at that rainfall. I'm going to really focus here on the southeast, Florida, up through part of the Gulf Coast area. That's where we're going to be seeing a lion's share of the rain, anywhere from 7 to 12 inches of rain, places along, especially the west coast of Florida, even the central portion all the way up into northern Florida here and eventually toward, back towards New Orleans, especially east of New Orleans. And we're getting up here into Georgia and the Carolinas. And we'll have to watch. This thing could try to head north come next week. So a lot of this moisture is from the system that will be approaching later on in the weekend into the northeast. But we won't start to tap into tropical moisture until later on in the forecast period. Let's get right into the severe particulars I'm really hard pressed to find any severe weather over the next couple days. It'll be later Saturday afternoon towards the Buffalo, New York area. Over here towards extreme northwest Pennsylvania, maybe Erie, London, Ontario, Toronto, Canada. This is where we're looking at the possibility for some damaging wind gusts and maybe some hailstones as well. So there you have it. There's our severe weather outlook. We're kind of grasping at straws for that, but later on in the day, as I said there, as a warm front approaches from the west late Saturday. That's when we could have it. Most of the northeast though stays mostly dry and severe weather free for your Saturday. It's later on in the weekend, it gets a little bad. Let's get right into the forecast starting off with your midpoint of the week Wednesday. Look at this across the northeast. We're not looking too bad. In fact, we're clearing it out. We're getting that front out of the area, lower humidity, and we're starting to warm things up a bit towards the mid to upper 70s. Being a popular number here across the northeast into your Thursday, high pressure really begins to crest overhead here. You got places even like the New York State Thruway warming up into the 80s and well into the 80s along the New York Pennsylvania border southwards. Some areas down towards Harrisburg, Philadelphia approaching 90. And into your Friday, look at this across the northeast. This is very summer-like. Most areas approaching the mid to upper 80s here across the northeast. Places like Binghamton, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, State College, Bradford, Warren, Erie, all the way up to Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse. And even here towards the coastal plain, can't ignore you here. You're starting to warm up and get rid of that marine layer into your Saturday. There's that late day potential for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm towards Erie, Buffalo, Toronto, and London, Ontario here. This is where we could see a stray shower or thunderstorm go severe on us along that impending warm front here. So most of the areas though, as you can see, well into the mid to upper 80s, feeling very summer-like to start off your Memorial Day weekend. Take a look at my five-day outlook. 
Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Look at this, starting off with Wednesday. Not too bad, a nice start into the mid to upper 70s. Overnight lows into the 50s. Good sleeping weather into your Thursday and Friday as well. Beautiful weather. It's too bad this couldn't be your Memorial Day weekend. Into Friday as well, into the 86. Look at this, 86 for both Friday and Saturday. It's getting really toasty here across the twin tiers of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Saturday is your best day for Memorial Day weekend, so get out there and enjoy your Saturday because Sunday, look at that. By Sunday, we're going to be showers and thunderstorms likely that approaching front from the Great Lakes. And we'll have to start to see if we get any tropical moisture from that system in the Gulf of Mexico. So if you have any plans, Saturday is your best day. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern. I'll keep you up to date on the tropical situation in the Gulf of Mexico. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube and MediaMark. Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus and MediaMark. MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.